Lady Craven is not who she seems. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her, babe? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not... Lady Craven is not... Lady Craven is not who she... You're here, at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Is Mr. Galici still being held, and where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225, but that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself, then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? 
I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Someone was not happy with his post. Someone was not happy with his post. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Aha, uh -huh. a neat hiding place. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. <sighs> Virtus or Dactus Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Fard Rouge Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the travelling temptress. The mystery deepens. A victim with a chequered past and poor taste. A remarkably simple lock. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Get to the point, Mr. Holmes. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. 
I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it, you know that. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it, you know that. Sorry. Maybe a guest noticed him. Sorry. Maybe a guest noticed him. Now you're in your element, Sherry. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Help me, please. Friend, you're lucky there is something I know about this. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge.
I cannot cover for you, Lord Craven. The facts are conclusive. You murdered your mistress. It wasn't me. You have no proof, not a whit. You entered the room just as Miss Emma was hiding the diamond. Discovering that she was the thief was the final straw. Preposterous! I didn't know a thing about it until you showed me her stash. A couple of whiskies go down fast for an alcoholic. That left you plenty of time for murder. That's ridiculous. I am no alcoholic. And there are witnesses who will attest I was there for at least a quarter of an hour. You have bruised knuckles and you look a mess. The poor woman fought for her life and you bear all the evidence. This whole evening was a mess. You know I got into a scuffle with the medium in the seance room. Nothing has changed since then. There's plenty of proof, sir. The police would certainly arrest you. You scoundrel! You said you would help me. I had nothing to do with it, as you will soon see. You are dangerous, Lord Craven. Beating your servants is one thing, but murder is another. You will not get away with this. I'll get out of this, Mr. Holmes, and I swear I'll find you. I will find you! Don't you bastards dare touch me! Holmes, you'll rue the day you gave me my cane when it comes swinging at your head! If Craven wants to claim his innocence, he should be more careful how he talks. Money talks too, Sherry. Let's hope it's not too loud. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well... Take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for.